Hi there, so today we're going to talk about the solubility of covalent network lattices, and in particular, silicon dioxide, just like all this sand here. And you'll notice that one thing the sand's not doing, it's not dissolving into the ocean. So our learning goal today is going to be to learn about how water's polarity affects its ability to be a solvent, as well as we want to be able to talk about that, particularly with covalent network lattices. So uh, by the end, you should be able to produce a model like a stick and ball model, Lewis dot structure, or even a structural diagram in this case, and show how water and the covalent network are interacting. So we're going to talk about covalent molecular lattices. But before we do that, we want to look at one specific example. And this is us here, silicon dioxide, also known as sand. Silicon dioxide is a crystal structure that looks like this and is a repeating pattern. It has the formula of this, SiO2, but that's actually an empirical formula. So the molecular formula of this would be ridiculous numbers, like it'd be Si a trillion, um, oxygen two trillion, sort of really, really large numbers. But we look at it on a small scale, we go down the empirical formula and we find it is this here, SiO2. So what that means is this whole thing, so your whole grain of sand, or as much as you get it down to one grain of sand, that whole chunk of silicon dioxide is one molecule. So a covalent network lattice crystal is actually held together by strong covalent intramolecular bonds. Unlike, say, sugar crystals, which are held together by intermolecular bonds in between all the sucroses, we're talking about, so like cohesion, we're talking about intramolecular bonds holding the whole thing together. So they're very, very strong. So because of that, the hydrogen bonds themselves aren't able to disrupt that. They're not able to get in the way and interfere with the intramolecular bonds. So our covalent network lattices tend not to be soluble. And because they're not soluble, they're also not a, there's no free ions and there's no free electrons. So they, don't, they aren't conductive either. Now, I hope that made a lot of sense. Uh, if it didn't, put the questions in the comments below, and we'll get back to you as quick as we can. Thanks for watching. Bye now.